This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. So let's talk about this uh, new mod that Stentorian Mods sent me. Stentorian Mods. The Basilisk. You may have seen it the other day in my uh, D Pro review and been very, very curious or known about it for some time. I don't really know. <laughs> I've been keeping up with things. So, yeah, I had no idea this thing was coming. I actually haven't checked my, uh, my inbox for my mail in about a month. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I, I promised myself once I get out a few few videos and I'll get back into my mail and dig through and see what's going on and see what I need to reply to. But I'm kind of playing catch up right now. Anyway, so this mod comes from Stentorian Mods. It's just fucking beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, uh, I want to say it's resin, it's acrylic, it's something. But it's absolutely beautiful beautiful mod and pretty versatile too really really versatile mod because well for me anyway versatile for me for some people they might find the features sort of lacking to be honest with you but you know I'm not a temp control kid I couldn't care less about temp control so the fact that this doesn't have temp control is more of a win than anything else for me I couldn't care less about temp control but it does have like three different power modes and it has they call it a, uh, like one of those prog programmable modes where you set it to fire at this wattage for this amount of time and this wattage for that amount of time and this wattage for this amount of time, basically in half second increments. I never use those features. I, I never do. It just, yeah, whatever. But it's got like a standard mode, a high power mode, a powerful plus mode. It's got a lot of stuff going on just in, you know, wattage. It's, it's very versatile just in wattage. Not, not to mention, it's uh, 5 watts on up to 200 watts, variable wattage. So, I mean, that's enough for most people. Even when they fake it, it's not a real 200 watts. It's still going to be pretty darn good. If anything bugs me about it, it's just that it doesn't fire below 1 ohm. And these days, even mods that aren't DNA 200 mods will fire, you know, 0.5. 0.7, 0 0.8, something, you know, something below 1 ohms. That's the one thing that I felt was kind of lacking with it. Everything else, fit, finish, just beautiful. I mean, I've bought premium box mods that are not as nice as this. Premium box mods that aren't going to hold up as well as this. I can tell you that right now. Take for example the DNA 200 mod that I picked up from Cartel. Expensive mod. Expensive DNA 200 mod. Hasn't held up well at all. If you, uh, if you pull the top cap on an RDA while it's sitting on top of it, the, uh, the metal comes off the thing. Yeah. It's, it's not well put together, hasn't lasted me very well. I use it, I like it, the battery life is really good on it, especially for a DNA 200, but haven't been impressed at how it's held up considering the price that I paid for it. This mod is going for, I wanna say something like that. I'm not really sure. It's not finished in the same way that a very premium box mod would be finished, but I gotta tell you for what it is, like a made in China, you know, sort of pseudo high-end, high-end kind of for China, <laughs> uh, 200, 200 watt in quotes box mod with dual 18650s, it's pretty good. It's really good. and. Like I said, the finish, it's not the same sort of finish that I expect in like a really high-end mod. Um, it doesn't have that same glossed over kind of thing that they do with the resin. It's more of a matte finish, but it's a really, really good matte finish. Like it's really good. Like it feels really soft in my hands. Honestly, I don't think I would change it. I actually really like it the way that it is. The fact that they didn't put that resin sort of 
uh, glossy kind of finish on it. I actually you'd like it even more that way. If I'm being honest, I really, really like it. But it's one of the few devices that I've seen from China come out lately that's, you know, metal construction. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a metal top, metal bottom. Even the battery compartment's metal. Yeah, it's not plastic on the battery compartment. That's really, really nice to see. The faceplate is metal, the buttons are metal, the top, the bottom, even the bottom, yeah, all metal. Fit, finish, construction, everything here is great. Not to mention, I mean, like I said, the acrylic is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. It's, you know, really, really nice acrylic they used. It's iridescent in places. In some places it looks like stab wood, even though it's acrylic. I mean, it's, it's really, really nice acrylic. They broke out the quality shit for this one. The buttons have like sort of a sort of convex, concave, whatever <laughs> sort of thing to them. They're kind of sunken in. It's very, very, very much like DNA 200 sort of look to it. It looks like a DNA 200. Before I turned it on, I thought it might be a DNA 200. Beautiful, bright display. Just gorgeous, easy to read. And simple too. You've got your ohms, you've got your volts, you've got your wattage, and you got your mode. Standard powerful, powerful plus, and the uh, the other one starts with an R, it's a weird name. And the battery percentage. I love that it's a percentage and it's not a bar. It's a little thing, but it's huge. And everything's nice and big and easy to read. The controls are simple. It's like power in the up button gets you into display, powerful, powerful plus, rebuild mode. That's where you can switch up your uh, your wattage is at every 0.5 second increment or whatever. And then standard mode, back to standard. That's it, that's the whole menu system. How simple is that? Hit the, hit the down button and the up button together, it flips the display. <laughs> I'm walking through the forest, I have no manual in front of me, I memorize that. <laughs> that's how easy that shit is. And nice little laser prints at the top for Basilisk and at the bottom for Stentorian. Really, really nice. Everything's marked nice and clear. Very easy to read, very easy to use mod. And it's a looker too, is the thing. And what I love most, and this is the smallest little thing, the smallest little add-on for this device sets it head and shoulders above every other high-end mod that I've ever come across. Are you ready for this? It's a little plastic see-through washer. Yeah. Maybe it's rubber, plastic, rubber, whatever the fuck. It's a little tiny piece of clear washer. That's what sets it head and shoulders above everything else. And you wanna know why? Because it's gonna preserve the finish on this mod. No other high-end mod that I've ever gotten has come with one of these little washer things. And it's just brilliant brilliant that it comes with one. I wonder why no one's ever thought of this before. Maybe other people have, maybe that's that's why, I don't know, but I've never seen it before. Damn sure nothing's ever come with it. I was like, whoa, that's the smartest shit ever. I mean, again, going back to the example of the cartel mods, the cartel mods box mod, the DNA 200 I have, it looks like shit. It looks like shit because I use it all the time, yeah, but also because they didn't think to include one of these things. And I didn't think to go out and buy one because it never occurred to me that something like this would exist or work. And it's just smart. It's a little tiny clear piece of plastic that sits down between the mod and the topper. That's it. It doesn't raise it up pretty much at all. You practically can't tell it's there. Unless you know it's there, you don't know it's there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no way to see it. It just protects the mod. Every time that I put a topper on this, I'm going to remember to use this little clear bit of washer and I'm never going to have an issue where the mod gets scratched to fucking back. Why hasn't anyone thought of this before? Why haven't I seen it before? It needs to be a regular thing. It needs to be a regular thing. Oh, and not only that, it comes with two of them. How smart is that? So when, if one ever wears out, I guess, or if I lose it, more likely I'll lose it before it wears out, I mean, I can just switch out and use the other one. That's just cool. That's just good thinking, Stentorian mods. I really like that. That's awesome. That's a win right there. That right there, that little penny, 
piece of equipment. Must have cost a penny to make, if that. Head and shoulders above every other high-end mod, just because it's included. Yeah. I'm seriously trying not to gush over the mod. I really, really have been enjoying using this one. It's beautiful. It's got great controls. It's got a great menu system that I can ignore. <laughs> it's got just a beautiful look about it. I mean, people are gonna dislike it or hate on it because it's not a contemporary or modern style device because it's still very box-like and whatever. You know what? I like my box mods to look like boxes. I'm okay with that. They don't need to conform to my hand. I mean, it's nice if they do sometimes, but I, I like a good boxy box. And I like the uh, the shape of these this top and the bottom here, the metal areas and the top and the bottom. That's a great shape, it's a great look. I mean, it's well made, it's well put together, really smart, beautiful design, powerful mod. I haven't had any complaints about the power. I'm vaping the D-Pro at 120 watts right now. I'm happy. Super happy, super happy. Uh, one other thing people might not like about it, I mean, for one thing, if you're a temperature control lover, it's not for you because there's no temperature control. I'm fine with that. The other thing is that there's no upgrade port. You know, some people like to complain about there not being an upgrade port. I can count on one hand how many times I've upgraded my mods. I don't like doing that. I just like my mods to work. That's it. These days, I just want to be able to pick something up and have it work and for me that's what variable wattage devices do they make it easy very very easy <laughs> without a doubt for me the basilisk from centurion mods is it if it's not the most beautiful it's pretty close the most beautiful the most well-made box mod that i've ever seen come out of china to date Gorgeous, just gorgeous. And since it's out of China, at least it's affordable, right? Right. So if you're looking for something high-end, something, I don't know, a little bit more elegant, a little bit classier, check out the Basilisk from Stentorian Mods. Uh, I've been nothing but impressed so far. Nothing but impressed. So, I appreciate all the things you guys do. The likes, the comments, the shares, the love, all that good stuff. One more way that you can support the channel. I have a list of affiliate links in the description. Clicking those links and making a purchase at any of the stores you already shop at means the world to me, supports me, supports the channel, and I'm grateful to you. Until next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on, vapors.